This is Cameron Chai from Azom.com and I'm speaking to Jason Sanchez from Viscotech, which is a Malva company. He's going to tell us about their TD305 GPC system. This is a size exclusion chromatography system that we offer uh, for characterization of anywhere from industrial polymers to consumables to proteins, biopolymers, and everything in between. Uh, we basically offer a complete system package uh, with uh, software, front end, pumps to gassers, as well as uh, detector technology and temperature control. So we'll take you through the system real quick and then tell you some of the new uh, detectors that we have available. So this is our GPC Max Auto Sampler, fully equipped with pump to gasser, um, and this side, Auto sampler capable of fitting 2 mil and 20 mil vials and injection port. And this unit is, uh, it can be operated by the software, Omnisex software. This is our TDA305 module, uh, fully outfitted with uh, Tetra detection capabilities, which we'll go through. Uh, we have an RI detector, UV detector, uh, light scattering detectors, as well as a viscometer. And it is capable of handling solvents, uh, uh, the entire pH range as well as uh, aqueous mobile phases. Uh, the new detector that we'll talk about today real quick is our PDA detector. This is the only PDA detector offered for uh, GPC systems, or size exclusion chromatography systems. And it basically allows you to uh, look at the full range of wavelengths uh, of your sample at each, at each single injection at each uh, chromatographic point, I guess, to say. And so for uh, using the Omnisex software, this is the output screen. You can see uh, that you get absorbance at a partic particular wavelength versus molecular weight. Uh, this is a differentiating factor of the PDA using size exclusion chromatography. You actually have absolute molecular weights and how the absorption changes across a distribution. You have nice contour plots where you can uh, see how that absorption actually changes across the distribution, as well as 3D models that you can use for publication um, publication images. Right, this is used for characterization of polymers, you were saying. You can do do things like take ran samples of random polymers and figure out what they, they consist of? Yeah. So people typically are looking for UV-Vis profiles in their samples to get some sort of idea of, of the components of the sample. And instead of having to figure out the wavelength ahead of time in a batch mode, you can in a single injection you get all the all the absorbance information at every wavelength across the molecular weight distribution. And this is good for uh, semiconducting industry, proteins, drug delivery, uh, blends, copolymer analysis, anything where you have a UV vis chromophore. All right, thanks for taking us for a tour through the TDA three hundred five, Jason. Yep, thanks.